In this video, we're going to look at how to uh, take a regular word problem, create a truth table, and extract a Boolean expression from that truth table. Right. So let's take a look at a simple word problem. Say this is the logic we're trying to solve. If it is dark and a motion sensor detects a person on the front porch, or if the switch is on, then turn on the porch light. This is a kind of problem, uh, logical problem we talk about in our daily lives. So let's take a look at a few quick things before we start. So here we have three input variables. One is a sensor that detects whether it's dark outside or not. Another is a sensor that detects movement. And finally, a switch that overrides, regardless of whether it's dark or it's uh, there is movement. A switch which, if turned on, uh, turns on the porch light. Okay, so the output is the porch light. So that's the output. And whereas darkness, motion, and switch are our inputs. Okay. Now that we know our uh, inputs and the outputs. So let's call darkness as simply D, motion as M, switch as S, and our light as L. Okay. Now that we've defined our variables, let's go ahead and create a truth table. So here is a simple truth table. The inputs are D, M, and S. Since there are three inputs, there are eight possible combinations of the inputs. D could be either 0 or it could be a set of 1's. M could be also 0, 1. S could be 0, 1. So if you enumerate every single possible condition, you'll have a total of 8 going from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. It's the same as a binary count starting at 0 to a, bin bin to a count of a total of 7. Okay, so let's take a look at the first row, this row right here. I have D equals 0, so that means it's not dark. M equals 0, meaning there's no movement. And S as in is 0, meaning there's no switch that is turned on. So if there's, it's not dark and there's no movement, our light should be off. So that means our light is L equals 0, means light is off. Let's look at the second row. D0, M0, S1. So that means our switch is on. Switch is on. That means our light should also be on. Okay. D0, it's not dark. M is 1, meaning there's movement. So it's, there's movement, but it's not dark. And the switch is off, so light should not be on. D0, it's not dark. There's movement outside, but the switch is on. So it should be on. The light should come on next four set of conditions is when D is 1 so that means it's dark outside okay, so it's dark outside now in the first case it's dark outside there's no movement so if it's dark and there's no movement and the switch is also off there's no need to turn on the light next condition it is dark there's no movement but the switch is on so the light should be on finally this is the case where it's dark outside there's movement no switch Regardless, it's dark and there's movement, so the light should come on. And finally, our final condition is when all conditions are met. It's dark, there's movement, as well as the switch is on. So I have this. So here's my completed truth table. Okay. Now that we have the truth table, how do we extract a Boolean expression from this? Okay. So let's take a look. Now, in order to do that, we are primarily concerned. So we want to figure out when should my port light be on. Okay. What we're trying to find is what is the logical expression for the porch light L in as a function, okay, as a function of darkness, motion, and the switch. Okay, that's what we're trying to find when we do this. Okay, so let's take a look. So we're primarily concerned with when the light is on. So that means we're concerned on by this guy. We're concerned about this row this row, this row, and this row. We don't care about 
we don't care about these three rows where the output is a zero. So in this, let's take a look. The output is one if d is zero, m is zero, and s is one. It's the same as saying not d is one and not m is one and s is one. So in other words, for this row, since d is zero, m is zero, and s is one, we can write this as not d, not m, and s. Okay. Similarly, let's go to this row. D is 0, M is 1, and S is 1. So we can write this as not D is 1, and M is 1, and S is 1. In other words, not D, M, S. Let's take a look at this guy. So D is 1, M is 0, S is 1. So we write this as D and not M and s. Notice the trend. Wherever the variable is a 1, we write that variable. Wherever it's 0, we write the not. So we write that not with either a bar over it or remember we can write also write that as m with a complement sign or a prime sign. Let's take a look at this. d is 1, m is 1, s is 0. So we write that as dm not s. And finally we have the case where d m and s are all 1, so d equals 1, m equals 1, and s equals 1, so we write it as d, m, s. Now my fourth slide will come on if this condition is met, or if this condition is met, or this, or this, or this. So basically, my expression for light is a combination of this, or this, or this, or this or this. In other words, L is equal to not D and not M S or not D M S or D not M S or D M not S or D M S. Now that we have this Boolean expression, implementing this if you actually use integrated circuits and wire this up, you'd get the right condition for the light but let's see if we can somehow save some effort in wiring by actually simplifying this expression so in class we looked at switching algebra theorems so let's use these theorems to finally take this expression and simplify it okay so let's take a look so here you go so let's start here okay in this case Let's take a, take a look at the first term and the second term. First two terms. What is common here? Not D, not D, S, S. So let's take not D and S out. Okay. Similarly, in the last two terms, I have D and M, D and M common. Okay. So let's take those out and write it as not D and S, not M or M. We'll leave this term as it as it is, and finally, we'll take not s or s out. Okay, now m or not m, this whole thing is equal to one. Same thing here. This is going to equal to one. Okay, and dm ended with one. It's simply going to be dm. So we can write that as not ds or d not m s or d m okay now what can we do okay let's see we can take s out from this case and this case okay, so let's try that so we're left with not d or d not m or d m so we'll, we'll leave this term as is now let's take a look up here. In class, we looked at a theorem where we had A or not AB is equal to A or B. So that looks very similar to this. This is not D or D not M. So that looks similar to A or not A B equals A or B. 
And that's what it looks like, where A is equal to not D, and B is equal to not M. Okay, so we can use that theorem and write down S not D or not M or DM. Okay, and the reason for that is A plus A or not AB is equal to AB. Okay, so this would be not not A B equals A B. Okay. Now what can we do? Now remember D Morgan theorem. This is not A or not B can be written as a nan b. So let's do that. So we'll take this and write this as a nan b. M. Okay. This is because of the D Morgan. Now, let's say this. Let's say p. Let's say p is equal to D M. Okay. In that case, this looks like. You can write this as S not P or P okay this expression looks awfully like this where A is equal to P and B is equal to S so this looks like S not P or P should simplify to S or P in other words and now if I put P back here into dm, I get s or dm. Remember? Again, a using the rule a or not a b equals a or b. Okay, so and p was dm, so I put dm back here. So this is the simplified expression for the light. So instead of Drawing a circuit with this, we can draw a circuit with a much, much simplified version of this, which would look somewhat like this. Okay? In summary, create a truth table, find the rows in the truth table where the output is a 1, write the Boolean expression for that row. For instance, if it's d equals 0, m equals 0, s equals 1, then write it as not d, and it with not m, and it with s. When you have all those rows taken care of where there is a 1 or all the boolean individual boolean expressions and you get the boolean expression for the light which is this big using rules of boolean algebra simplify it and once you have a simplified expression you can create the circuit 